specialist, which means we have to run a bit further and we're less likely to get a hack reward, significantly less. We received an emergency request from the spokesman asking for our help in freeing a VIP sympathetic to the resistance cause. Advent forces are holding the captive somewhere in this area. <laughs> Rudeful rush team lab. Rudeful no. No Rudeful. Don't do that to yourself, please. Operation Spider Slap. Yeah, mag weapons are a prereq for coil. And we're pretty happy to go to mag weapons anyway. They're a useful boost to damage as we start finding more and more M2s in the next few weeks. I am considering things that I can do after all of my classes videos for Reaper. The expansion pack's going to be coming out like not too long after I finish them, so I don't know how that's going to upset things. But yeah, there are there are many, many, many things about this game that I could talk about for 20 minutes and publish on the internet for people to watch. And people seem to enjoy watching them, so I'm going to try to keep doing that, basically. <laughs> yeah, Talberts. Oh yeah, I have a basic cannon. I remember that. This team was a little bit stitched together compared to the other stuff I had been sending out. Uh, looks like the... I mean, we'll probably just walk into a pot and kill it and then go from there, but running down the right side of the map and coming in from the back side of the objective looks pretty valid here. Solid copy. Got... Blade Master, Combatives, Covert. Okay. Somebody is walking through a window in Fog of War. As Advent Patrols are wont to do. Do only drones do that? Does that mean that there is guaranteed to be a drone on the map? I guess there's like sort of always a drone on the map anyway. This pot ain't too bad. We can kill that pretty easily. Um, this building is very open. I think it makes a lot more sense to just kill everything than to try to stealth in and out. I've got Vulture at this point in the campaign too, so... Killing guys is pretty nice. This is strength one region, so reinforcements aren't that scary. Moving. We don't have the most HP ever, but we have enough. I put my technical here on the off chance that I can open with a flamethrower next turn. I don't really want my shinobi closer. Because we want to have a bit of a run-up. Could even deliberately go further away with the shinobi. Yeah, I like that. Mm, they went right around the corner. It's not our ghost walker technical, is it? No. Okay. What if I opened with that move? I think it's completely fine. Obviously we give out concealment, but we're going to want to do that anyway to alpha strike these guys. And it's possibly the only way that the shinobi attacks this turn. 
And it's a 100% kill on one of the members of the pod. <laughs> I like the way that that animated. Like the guy does a double take and is like, hey, there's, there's a guy running at me with a sword, dudes. Um, all right, so he's done. Probably double grenade the engineer. See what the flamethrower does. I'm gonna hold off on using fortify. Holy shit, I thought that my own soldier was like an enemy there. Oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um, we're okay though, we're okay. Hey, Breakable, how you doing? work so you have our control tactical sense conditioning throw frag grenade hmm. would probably have been better to overwatch a little bit i don't know though we wouldn't have had control over where the shots went that was a minimum damage grenade. So I think my play now is we put JC in the light cover. That's fine. We try the shot, try to save our consumable. And also this has about the same chance of killing as the grenade does. And when it fails, we can either suppress or shredder gun. I like suppressing. I think the shredder gun will have value later. Chanel is really taking off. That's great. I love their stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Breakable. Yeah, I'm doing really well. It's a wound on JC. I did put him in light cover. So, I don't really want to use the last charge of Flamethrower already. I'm gonna make this move just to clear a little bit extra fog of war, see if we have to worry about enemies. And looks like no. I'm gonna use a frag grenade. Am I? Or am I gonna double shoot? Let's double shoot. I don't have shredder yet. I'm actually gonna. F no. Hmm, maybe. Don't have defensive perks here. I could fortify this time. Okay, we killed an entire pod all by ourselves. Just gonna bring the rest of the team in. And there's got to be a pod in here. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Pod in here and a couple of solo drones is what I'm expecting to be left on the map. Fifty percent chance that this takes a fifty percent shot that might disorient. Oh, that's rude. To have set myself on fire. It's awkward. Uh, we don't have to move though, so we don't have to end up set on fire. We have Shredder on this Grenadier. That's an AWC perk. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the shot, I guess. Sure. Getting that value. Love value. Uh, it's gotcha that's telling if um, a move is going to cause Overwatch to go off against you. And yeah, all of my mods are in that mod package that just got linked. Well, this has been a fascinating turn. 
Finally, the true enemy has revealed itself. There we go. I'm gonna hunker the shinobi. These guys may patrol in on yellow alert here, and then they'll just see a hunkering shinobi. Not really do anything. That's a pot of two, so there's probably another pot of two left on the map. Uh, my grenadiers still get set on fire by moving. Boom, I guess. I do have a med kit, so I can move the grenadier and then extinguish the fire if I want. Um, there's like sort of a warder feature there, but I'm not sure that I can use it. That looks like the evac zone, but it's actually just like urban landscaping. Good for them. It's nice to, uh, you know, lighten up the city like that. What? It's about a three. Okay. Wow. Not quite what I wanted to walk into. I have particular note is the Rocketeer right now. The other guys in the pot aren't that scary. I feel like combat music is really grooving right now. Digging it. Uh, let's come forward. I'm really excited about Phoenix Point Break of All. I don't know if you've, like, how much of it you've seen, but it looks like they already have a working game pretty much and. Pretty sure Julian Gollop can come up with some fun mechanics to make it enjoyable and replayable and the like. Definitely flanked, aren't you? So let's bring our Shinobi back into heavy cover. We still have enough of a run up to deal good damage next turn. Grenade right here. Both of those Sidewinders had loot, and we destroyed both of the drops. Gunner here, I assume that the fire eventually goes out? I don't know. Just keep Rukin standing there. He's doing great. Doing great. Good work, Rukin, if you're out there. Okay, I like them clustering together. I think I like them clustering together. Do I like them? Yeah, I guess so. I have like a shredder cannon and maybe my technical's fast enough to dash forward and get commanded. Oh, you are on fire. Okay. Just took a while. Technical's very fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still not really fast enough. I have to go to there and only be able to Hit one of them. That looks like a good action. I like this. Yes, please. Yes. I'm just, yes. I'm pressing that button. Seemed all right. JC should be able to just clear the rest of the map with a grenade. know that that's at least two, which means we can... Oh, no. We'll just grenade. Maybe he blows up some loot, but that's okay. Three. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. 
healed up. Okay, so we want to hack the door with the Shinobi. That's the highest hack value on this mission. There are reinforcements incoming. It's a strength one region though, so they should be a while. Everything on the map is cleared otherwise. I didn't really play the Alpha Strike against the first pod all that well. I feel like this stuff after that was okay though. I think we just need intel. I think I have like 50, 60 alloys right now. Nice. The hack score on Shinobis is handy to have. Can I... Didn't want to let me play the game again. Alright, we've got still a little way to run. I wonder what approach Phoenix Point will take to modding. Because modding is what has really made the Firaxis XCOM games into games that I want to play. Neither of the vanillas is... I mean, they're both solid games for what they are, but they're not quite what I'm looking for. Bluish animal, like a dolphin, a blue jay. There aren't that many blue animals? Butterflies. Butterflies aren't animals, are they? Huh. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna Google blue animals. Blue animals list. Twenty-eight amazing blue-colored animals with insanely beautiful pictures. The steel blue ladybird, the blue lobster, the blue starfish, the blue tang. A lot of these are like, I don't know, they're like fish or crustaceans or the hyacinth macaw. That's gorgeous. Peacocks, okay. Yeah, there are a few birds. Um, okay, I should... Yeah, sorry. I There was important stuff for me to look at. Should continue, like, streaming the video game or something. Paid mods only. Hmm. Hmm. Spider slap. I wonder which leg a spider would slap you with. It could use like the front leg, that would be the most handy, you know? But it could also use the back leg and get like a full fledged wind up, do like a roundhouse slap. <laughs> the thought of a spider roundhouse slapping someone is a little bit odd. All four legs on one side. Wow. What if it just like reared up on its back two legs and slapped you with the remaining six, like from both sides? Boom. Hey, I got a scientist that's awesome. 10 intel, focus perception. Yay, I guess. I sort of don't need a lab this campaign. I have five scientists already. 
I haven't even had to staff the AWC like about half the time. Definitely want to be for the rest of the campaign though, I'm guessing. Could we equip a network tower right now? Shinobi Grenade? No. No, I'm not super interested in that. Ah, uh, if we had like five exosuits. Yeah, I'm not really that interested in it. Probably wait for Katya. Or maybe for Remy to come back. Remy's going to be wounded after the HQ. Let's be realistic. Oh, it's time for the fleas. Okay. Yeah, no, we should. Uh, we have to. I have to take a brief pause. Uh, we have to give flea treatment to my little cat. And she's sort of hard to get hold of. And Caitlin just grabbed her. So I will be back in like 60 seconds. This won't take long at all. Obomo show.
Okay. Okay. First I talked to you for about 30 seconds without realizing the microphone was muted. Then I talked to you for 15 seconds after trying to unmute the microphone but failing to. And now I believe we are here. Anyway, I, I started training resilience on a shinobi because it reduces crit chance against the shinobi by a lot. And that's really nice for a huge number of reasons. One, combatives doesn't work if something crits you with a melee attack, so get rid of that chance. Uh, two, it means that I don't have to wear a nanoscale vest, so I get to wear a hazmat vest with no downside, which is awesome. Three, I don't know, it's good. Like, it means I don't get crit when things shoot at me. It's good when I don't get crit when things shoot at me. Resilience is a good perk. Any questions? No good. All right, moving on. We just jailbreak now. It's four rookies. <laughs> I sent like the strongest soldiers on the entire roster to rescue four rookies. Okay. Puppy Red Axe, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm trying to read you guys' chat, but something's gone wrong with your chat. I think your keyboards aren't actually sending the text. Um, it probably appears on your screen, but nobody else can actually read what you write right now. So I don't know. Just see if you can fix that and we can keep on keep on talking. Have a rookie contacted to recruit. Don't really care. I'm about to get four of them. I'm gonna try to take this to vulnerable, I guess. It's probably worth doing. It gives up a little bit of soldier time. It's okay. I just met a new mission. We met ourselves another UFO. Holy shit. No, 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 no. that can't be true. That's legitimately another UFO. Um, okay. Three days, 11. That's legitimately another UFO. Wow. <laughs> let's, let's run this mission now and put together a team to find us another UFO, I guess. 